Sarah ran for her life, her copper brown hair trailing in the wind, while monstrous figures chased after her. Contrary to what could be expected of a maiden running away from horrible monsters, she was not panicking. An aura master never panics. Granted, she technically wasn't an aura master yet, but that was only due to her postponing her trial in order to take part in this God's damned expedition. She was more than skilled enough to hold the crimson sheath. Still, aura master or not, she was confident in her control of her emotions. So the weird sensation in her chest must surely be her armor being a tad too tight and definitely not abject terror gripping her heart. Similarly, the fact that she was fervently swearing under her breath didn't mean she was scared, no sir. That was only because of the burning anger for getting herself involved in this whole fiasco. Most of her curses were aimed at Carl, the old adventurer who convinced her to join this accursed expedition to the Dark Heart, the mysterious region at the center of the Caligare forest. If it wasn't for him, she would have never let herself get involved in such a foolish journey. But the old man had been weirdly convincing. His feverish optimism and enthusiasm infected all those who listened to him, to the point that Sarah would have suspected the involvement of some mind magic trickery, if she hadn't been so confident in her mental defenses. Nevertheless, the end result found Sarah as the only survivor of the expedition, and she would soon share the fate of her companions if she couldn't lose her pursuers, which meant she should focus on escaping before trying to pin the blame for this situation. Concentrating on her legs, she used the flash step aura technique to increase her speed, accelerating to the pace of a galloping horse. She could have potentially gone even faster, but the terrain was far too treacherous for that, being almost entirely covered in a weird mold, similar to gray wax, on which she could easily slip and fall. Besides, that speed still allowed her to gradually outdistance her pursuer, albeit not as quickly as she would have wished. The chase continued for a while in an eerie silence, broken only by Sarah's footsteps and her enemies chittering. There was no bird song, nor rustling leaves, not even insects crawling on the ground. The whole place was dead and shrouded in that waxy mold that seemed to suffocate any other form of life. <laughs>